What's up, Curls Crew? It's your girl, K Curls, coming at you with another natural hairstyle video, video, video. Well, today I am going to be doing a requested video that is going to focus on detangling. So I'm going to do it two different ways because I want to make sure that uh, I do this video justice. I'm going to make sure that I do it wet and I also want to do it dry because I want to show you both ways. So if you would like to see it, please stay tuned. <laughs> For this dry section over here, I typically do not like to detangle my hair dry. I like to detangle my hair when I'm in the shower because you need to have some kind of a slip on your hair for you to be able to detangle it or else you're going to get a ton of breakage. And what I mean by slip is the way that your fingers or whatever you're going to use, your comb, your brush or whatever, uh, the way that it just slides or glides through your hair. Um, so that you can prevent having any hairs fall off on the end. You're already going to have some natural fallout, but you don't want to overly, you know, process your hair with a bunch of different combs and brushes and manipulate it to the point that it's all just falling out and getting thin because we want to have nice, thick, long, healthy hair, right? Right. So all I'm going to do is I am going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to put some water on my hair. It doesn't have to be completely wet because again, this is you detangling it dry. So you don't need to fully saturate your hair. You wanna be able to, wait a second guys. You wanna make sure that you, it's nothing coming out. All right, one more time. There we go. All right, so you just wanna make sure that you get it a little bit wet, right? And then you wanna start detangling with your fingers so just start working your fingers through and detangling your hair all the way down to your ends so you want to work from your ends up to your root and then i like to use a detangle brush i literally got this from the dollar store it was one dollar okay dollar tree and here you go you guys you can see it it's just a regular detangling brush it looks just like all the expensive ones but it works just as well if it's not um so then once i have this detangled i'm going to take this brush or i'm going to take a wide tooth comb so whatever is going to be more comfortable for you some people like to use brushes some people like to use combs i typically don't use a comb on my dry hair because you see it's going to get to a little bit of a point it didn't do too bad but it gets to a little bit of a point where it might catch and i don't like to catch because i don't want to see any fallout in my hair so i'm going to take my cantu now and i'm just going to start spraying away on this section just so i can get some good slip and again the reason why i use this is because you can see just from my fingers right now how easy it is for my fingers to just slip through my hair so i don't have anything to worry about it's already completely detangled but i'm going to take it one step further because i want to make sure that it's fully detangled before i move on to the next section make sure that you start at your ends and work your way up to your root because if you start from your root all the way down to your ends then that's exactly how you're going to rip your hair out it's going to fall out and we don't want that to happen so you want to start from your ends and work your way up to the root but like i said since you're finger detangling uh, it should be a lot easier for you. So this section is now fully detangled. So I'm just going to pin this over to the side. And I'm going to work on my other section. Now, one thing that I normally do is I separate all of my hair into four sections. So I'm going to go ahead and gently make sure that I do that right now. So I'm just going to clip the back of my hair up. And I'm going to take another small section in the front. And I'm just going to do the same thing. So again, with the water, I'm going to spray that in just to get it a little damp so that I can have some slip on my hair. And I'm just going to gently start to detangle with my fingers. And then I'm going to go in with my Cantu and I'm just going to spray away. And then once I get enough of that in there and I feel my hair is detangled enough, I'm going to take my detangler brush and I'm going to start working from my ends up to my root. 
and I am just going to combine that with the next section. So I'm going to continue to do this for the rest of the dry section. You guys can watch it, but I'm going to speed it up. I'm not going to talk through that. And then I will come back and talk to you guys about the wet section when we're done this one. Okay guys, so I just wanted to stop and talk to you for a second because as I was detangling, I wanted to show you guys there was like a knot in the back of my hair and I wanted to show you guys how to get through that without ripping out your hair. So again, I'm just going to wet my hair. You never want to pull apart your hair when it's completely dry. You want to make sure that it has some wetness to it, okay? So we're just going to dampen that a little bit and we're going to go through. But if you ever get to a part where you're trying to pull it apart and there's a tangle, you want to very, very, very slowly pull that apart. And then what you want to do is you just want to focus on wherever that tangle is and you want to isolate it as much as you can. Tangle, And you need to just take the little knot out and then just slide your hand all the way through until you don't feel any knots. But if you do feel one that you do need to separate you want to gently pull your hair apart and then you don't want to force anything that won't separate if it won't separate just gently go over it and again just isolate that curl until you get that tangle all the way out down through your fingers okay back to speeding up <laughs> And this is the wet side. So as you guys can see, I completely wet it. It actually dried a little bit since I'm sitting here. So I'm going to take this water and I'm going to pour it on there so you guys can see that it's absolutely wet. I want it to be dripping. And I learned from my last video that you need a towel, girl, because natural hair is so messy. I'm just so used to doing this in the shower. Um, because it's just so much easier to detangle your hair in the shower. It's already wet. So for this section, I'm just going to pour this water all over here. Get as messy as I can for you guys. Yes. Alright, let's get this hair completely drenched in water again. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this hair is wet. And I'm going to let it drip so you guys can see it is saturated completely with water. Okay, so we're just going to start detangling. So I'm just going to section a portion of the back of it off so I can show you the front. And then I'll fast forward doing the back of it later. Okay? Well, in a minute. Um, so what we're going to do for this section, I don't mind using a wide tooth comb for when my hair is wet. Because I don't have to worry so much about slips. And I don't have to worry so much about the comb ripping into my hair and ripping it out. Because this type of comb, this is from Conair, this is specifically made for curly hair. So this is going to be perfect for you guys. It doesn't usually get caught in my hair. You can just see how easy this is. I'm going to work from my ends all the way up to my roots. And this is just super duper easy to go through. Now, unless I'm styling my hair when it's wet, I usually don't use um, a detangler for my wet hair because it's already so easy to detangle because I'm using a conditioner. So what I would actually recommend if you don't like to go out and buy a whole bunch of detangling products, you don't have to. You can go out and buy like a really cheap conditioner and detangle your hair while you're in the shower doing this. Just add your conditioner into your hair and then detangle your hair just like this with your comb or you can use uh, the tangling brush that I used for the dry side. You can do the exact same thing. You're just going to work with your ends and work your way up. And then again, if you run into any areas where uh, something is tangled or you need to separate it because there's like a knot in it, you want to make sure that you gently go through your hair and separate that and just pull out each piece of them individually. Remember to focus on each individual strand and that's going to prevent you from having a lot of fallout. So um, for the sake of this video, because I did do the other side of my hair with the Cantu detangler, I am going to use that again because I'm just going to style my hair later and I'm probably going to wear it as just like a wash and go for the next few days. 
so I'm not gonna take small sections like I did earlier I'm just gonna take some of this and spray it into the areas that I know I need saturated like the areas on the other side of my head and I'm gonna work this through just like I did on the other side and then take my detangle brush and I am going to detangle and it's gonna be so easy because remember we just took the comb and we already started detangling so I'm just gonna spray over again this hair work it in and then take it all the way up okay next I'm gonna do one more for you guys because this side is so fast so I'm just gonna take my detangler again oops spray that in my eye and spray down your hair massage it in and then comb or brush however you decide you would like to oh there we go all right so i am going to again speed it up so you guys can see the rest of it and then i'll come back when i'm done Okay guys, so this was my detangling routine. I really, really hope you guys liked it. My hair pretty much just looks like a regular wash and go. So this is an easy way to refresh your hair, whether it is wet or dry, or it's just a way for you to be able to detangle your hair so that you can wash out your products and move on to the next thing, okay? So I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to hit that notification bell and thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.